Oh boy. So as you guys can see, I'm hooking up the new owner with a lot of nice parts, man. I'm letting the car go with the Vic Junior intake manifold. Also gonna include the MMR adapter plate to use with this manifold if you're gonna run the stock or some type of aftermarket throttle body, not the Edelbrock throttle body. And I'm also including two extra pulleys and new spark plugs as well. So car's pretty much ready to go. Um, <laughs> Ready to go to make 500 wheel, ready to rip, and gonna go ahead and just enjoy my last drive and wash it up. But overall, I'd say it's a pretty rock solid deal, man. I know he's probably watching this video too, but gonna put the passenger seat back in here and whatnot. I don't have the rear seats anymore, but I mean, I know the dude's gonna, <laughs> he ain't gonna mind that. He's gonna probably get in here and start racing the car, so. <laughs> weight reduction i'm also including um the weight of the car in here if you guys are ever wondering right here car weighs 3220 so i think it's a pretty good deal man i'm definitely gonna enjoy the car Whew. i'm gonna miss that tire setup though i ain't gonna lie I'm gonna whisk the welds. I'm gonna have to get that on the Shelby again, but damn. All right, man, let's go for this drive. Oh my God. <laughs> God, bro, I forgot how loud, ear piercing loud this car was. Jesus. I hope he has some pretty cool neighbors, man, because, I mean, look. I can guarantee this is gonna be the loudest car on the block. put an exhaust on this car probably within the first 30 days of ownership I can guarantee you that depending on how his neighbors are <laughs> but if you guys are unaware 
there, the car's actually going to a subscriber, so that's pretty good. It'll be in good hands. He knows everything that's done to the car, what it's capable of. Man. I wouldn't be surprised if he threw an exhaust on this thing, though. The one thing he does have to go ahead and um, fix, as you guys probably tell, the IAC valve, but that's literally it. Man. And obviously the turn signal, but I mean, who the hell needs turn signals? I drove this car over a year <laughs> without turn signals. Oh man. And I'm under the assumption that he's actually gonna go ahead and um, do the turn signals, the IAC valve, oh yeah, and the um, the O2 sensor for the, uh, the AFR gauge, and throw on the intake manifold with the spacer and get it tuned at the same time which is definitely a good move and the car is gonna make like it's gonna make over 500 wheel like literally it's got the grip tech 2.7 on here I got the 2.87 vortex as well as the 3.1 vortex as well so if he wants to pull it down or I should say technically pull it up he can but I mean I wouldn't I would just let it rock let it rock and just just go gap some coyote cars. The idle, dude, I, I gotta get this on the Shelby, dude. Like, I've gotta get this on the GT350. I miss this idle with the centrifugal supercharger. I'm getting back used to that heavy clutch, though. in this video i do apologize i'll do a little pull up here but i mean i don't own the car anymore technically so i'm not really trying to go ahead and beat on somebody else's car because technically that wouldn't be right i mean i wouldn't like that in all reality <laughs> sounding V8s are the two valves. The two valves and the four valves and like the voodoos. Like the two, the two and the four valves, man. Like this shit doesn't even have an exhaust on it and it sounds, it sounds good. Like that's how you know you have a good sounding engine. This thing literally doesn't even have an exhaust. It's just literally long tube headers and a fucking pipe <laughs> with turn down tips on it. Literally like long tubes and turn down tips. And this thing sounds crazy. Oh. Well, luckily, we're about to pull over right into here to wash the car. Hope everybody's okay. <laughs> Woo! All right. Gonna go ahead and uh, wash up this car. Get it looking A1 again. Even though, like, it hasn't really been driven in, in like, a month now. There goes that ISE valve. Get that fixed relatively quick, especially because this guy actually lives out in Michigan. So if you guys are in Michigan and see the car, and you guys follow me on Instagram, make sure you guys go ahead and uh, tag me 
in a photo, that'd be pretty awesome, man. Links to me at the top of the description. But this ISC valve will act up in the colder weather. Trust me, when it was like 20 degrees out here in Texas, it was going up and down, up and down. So the cold weather, definitely go ahead and um, get that fixed. But he might not even be driving it until like the summertime, low key. <laughs> put my last finishing touches on the car it was only right that I went ahead and did the last wash I was gonna go ahead and just give it to my homie to wash the car but I mean I gotta be the last one to wash this thing man it just it wouldn't have been right if I just you know gave it to somebody else had them wash it oh we better go over the water here ah! oh good This thing is like literally, <laughs> this thing is like literally full on race car, man. Like literally full on race car. Whoo. <laughs> uh, this car is fun man this is a, it's like an experience driving this car like this there's something going on all the time that's why i like it man like you get the blower noise you get the loud exhaust you get like the random creaks you know from it being an older car like it's just a a full-on good experience two valve <laughs> that rattling noise is like all the stuff in the trunk I have right now for the new owner <laughs> sound crazy in this thing right now. All right, so the car is all clean, ready to go. Even swapped out the headlights for the ones that weren't condensated and everything. So threw those just in the back seat, but everything's all good to go cleaned under the engine bay best i could white hood you only can do so much but this is it i just go ahead put this in the garage and wait for the pickup
Damn. This was a bad motherfucker, bro. I enjoyed my time with the two valve, for real. I don't know if I'd get into another one anytime soon. Or honestly, ever, for that matter. I don't know, if I were to go ahead and get another new edge, it'd have to be a Cobra. Or potentially, a two valve that's already done. <laughs> with the stuff that I wanted to get for this car, already on that one, it would have to be for a good deal, but I don't know. All right, you guys already know I have to go ahead and get a group photo with all three of these cars in the same place at the same time. Now, if you guys told me this photo was ever going to actually be real, I'd say you were capping because I no way, shape or form would have thought that I'd have a built motor turbo FRS, a GT350 and a boosted two valve like this photo wow like i didn't think this was ever going to happen now in all reality i was actually planning on selling this car to get a cobra but i ended up keeping it didn't do it wasn't really planning on getting this car when i did but we made it happen and i originally was going to keep this car for quite some time but you know things happen it is what it is um i can't really complain at all um <laughs> a lot of time went in to make this photo happen literally like years and i mean years of work went in i only wanted to know how much money was spent i just really don't want to know but whoo shit man it's not even real <laughs> wow all right hope you guys enjoyed the video man i feel like i had to get one final drive in this car and actually wash it myself, man. The car is cleaned up, it's packed up, it's ready to get picked up. So if you guys enjoyed the vid, make sure you guys drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn those post notifications, man. Hopefully the new owner, you know, enjoys it as much as I did. Hopefully he potentially keeps active on social media. I don't really have his stuff though, but I'll see if I can get that for you guys. You guys can follow this build and figure out what he does with it. But it's literally just ready to go. It just needs, the new intake manifold, the spacer, a retune, and it's literally gonna make over 500 wheel and be a complete animal. But yeah, man. Deuces.